Hey guys, so today I am going to be talking to you about audio recording, specifically when it's best to record your audio in stereo versus when it's best to record it in mono. Now, I am by no means an audio recording expert here, as I'm sure many of you long-term subscribers will know, just judging from the quality of the content on this channel alone. But that being said, I've done a little bit of research, done a little bit of reading, and I'd like to share that with you today. But this is very much going to be one of those videos where the value in the content isn't just from this video here but from the comment section below where people with better and wider perspectives on the issue can uh, can sort of uh, share their opinions as well so the reading that I've done really talks about the situations when you should record using mono and when you should record using stereo uh, because there are times when one is more suited than the other. Now, when it comes to, say, recording a, a live band, for example, it's almost always best to record in stereo. So most microphones have actually two microphones in them. I'm just going to demonstrate with the one that I'm holding up now. And as you can see, the two microphones, one is pointing off in that direction, one is pointing off in that direction. So you can kind of get, uh, you know, one's obviously going to record the the uh, sort of the left side or the left speaker uh, more clearly and with sort of, a, you know, a focused direction. And one's going to be doing so with the right. And that's going to give you more of a sort of realistic as if you were there feel to your audio. And of course, with music, particularly live music, it's uh, you know it's a collection of very complex sounds, and uh, and you do kind of want to get that extra degree of clarity. When you do record in mono, you're going to get a very sort of flat sounding, uh, you know, sort of audio recording. Uh, but if you have sort of two microphones on it, recording different parts with uh, you know different focus, then you're going to have that uh, you know that that sort of sort of closer to a reality kind of feeling. So um, when it comes to sort of live things and recording things, you generally kind of want to use stereo because it is more similar to, to sort of actually being there. So examples that I've seen cited for when it's possibly wiser to record using mono over stereo are for very simple recordings like uh, podcasts where it's really just a vocal track and you don't need anything more complex than that. If you have multiple uh, microphones recording what is effectively the same single audio source, many people consider it overkill and also sometimes it's more difficult to compress and edit that audio more suitable for you know for, for other formats as well whereas mono is very good at sort of keeping it simple now the problem with mono is that you often find that it sounds a little flatter it sounds like it might lose a little bit of its crispness or its bounce um, but when you're recording something that is effectively a single audio source um, then you don't really sacrifice too much there as it is, and it sometimes is just simpler to, to process and edit the audio as a mono track. And a lot of microphones that I've seen, even quite high grade ones that are designed for vocals, um, I've seen them sort of being sold as mono microphones, uh, even when it wouldn't really have cost any sort of amount extra to have, have put in an extra microphone and called it a stereo microphone. But it does seem that vocals, uh, by a lot of people's uh, sort of standards and definitions, are best recorded as mono, and then more complex sounds like music um, and sort of live uh, live situations recorded using stereo sound a little bit better because you've got that locational thing going on as well. When you've got two microphones recording, uh, so like an audio setup or whatever, uh, you uh, it sounds more like you're there because the two microphones almost sort of simulate two ears, as it were. Um, now, I have recorded a fair number of lectures over the past few years, and I've recorded them in stereo. And one of the reasons why, to me, it at least feels a bit more natural to record lectures in stereo is because with lectures, people are sort of they're walking around, um, and it's and it's a it's a live. So it's you know it's 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 a, it's a live event, and when you're recording not using a lavalier mic but actually recording using a shotgun mic from a distance, uh, when the video is showing someone walking from left to right across the screen, the audio then follows when you're recording it in stereo, making it sound a little more natural. Whereas if you had it in mono, it would just sound again a little bit yeah uh, it would it would it would sort of almost break immersion as it were. Uh, again, it's not particularly. Um, uh, it's sort of, uh, you know, it's not a make or break scenario when you record, say, a lecture using stereo versus using mono. But, um, but it, again, it's it's one of those things that just sort of um, there's a purpose for doing it. But when you're just recording from a single audio source, 
um, like, for example, you know, just talking, uh, there doesn't necessarily seem to be any additional point to recording using two microphones rather than using one. So here's what I'm going to do. I'd like, of course, to hear your thoughts on this down in the comments section below. But I'm going to be giving you uh, an example on, on what you can sort of judge, all right? So I'm going to be talking now using uh, stereo. This is going to be stereo. This is going to be two tracks that you can uh, that you can hear, two microphones recording my voice. Um, and now I'm just going to, in a second, switch over to mono uh, the second I snap my fingers. So now I am speaking using just the one microphone. In fact, what I have decided to do is to actually take the two microphones in this micro, the two sort of mini microphones in this uh, audio recorder, and I'm actually going to merge the two tracks together in post, so that you can kind, of, so that it kind of averages out, or or it gets sort of the best of both worlds, but just merges them into one single mono track. So what I'd like you guys to uh, to comment on, uh, partly is is does the sound really change very much? Do you notice the change? Do you think that one sounds better than the other? And also, what are your experiences re with recording mono versus recording stereo? I know that some people think that stereo is just better across the board. If you're if you're never sure, then um, then recording stereo is always a safe bet. And I guess it is to a degree. But one thing that I have found with recording stereo audio, particularly when it comes to the uh, you know to to speech, is that it's a little more difficult to compress because when you've got one audio source but is being picked up by two microphones, little discrepancies in. Um, maybe the angle of the voice if the voice because my voice isn't going directly into the microphone it's almost going across which means one microphone's picking it up slightly better than the other inside this device which means when it comes to compression it can kind of sound a little disorientating when it comes to leveling the two channels but anyway that's just me and again like i say i'm by no means an expert but i would very much like to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below as to whether or not you should record in audio and stereo in different uh, circumstances different occasions um but um yeah, uh, I, I think that uh, from what I've read from the blog post that I've uh, sort of looked at, um, it does seem that if you're recording from like one single source, mainly speech more than anything else, then there doesn't really seem to be any value in having a second microphone, uh, you know, ACA recording it in stereo, whereas you might as well just sort of simplify things and uh, and make things easier in terms of compression uh, and... Um, and sort of make things a little more consistent and just sort of record it or at least process it in mono. So anyway, that's just a few thoughts. Please let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I look very much forward to reading them. That's about it from me today. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.